March 13th, March 14th, Richmond, Virginia, uh, MMA for Charity. Uh, tell me what's going on and, and how are you involved? Um, what, what we're doing is um, actually I have a weird connection because uh, the people that are putting on MMA Charity are a, a nice group of guys. And one of the guys is Rick McCoy. He used to be my old manager uh, when I first started off in the sport. Um, the event's going to be held at uh, uh, MMA Institute in Richmond. Um, you know, it's going to be an all-day event. I think we have kids seminar going on on Sunday. I'm going to be teaching the first, very first seminar myself and Tom Lawler from uh, my portion is 9 to about 10.30, and, and Tom's going to finish up all the way till 12. Uh, it's going to be lots of fun, a lot of good guys, a lot of excellent high-level guys, so it's a lot of stuff to learn from. And, you know, people are going to, people are going to be there, you know, to donate. The guy, all the fighters are donating their time. You know, no one's getting paid for it. We're just out there, you know, because it's a good cause. And, um, you know, hope the people come out and they, and they come out and enjoy it. Come learn something. Just come say hi. Come to the autograph signing. Just, just you know, show face. It'll be great. Um, if you have to donate, you know, they'll be taking donations there. Also, you can go to the website, www.mmaforcharity.com, and donate on the website also. So, I mean, it's a great cause. I was very uh, happy to get on. I got on kind of last minute, and, you know, I'm very excited about it. Um, you know, for this to happen in Virginia, for me not to be there would be a crime. So I'm, I'm ecstatic about it, and I'm trying to get as many guys to go up as possible. Yeah, I was contacted by uh, Rick McCoy, uh, who has a big part in, in organizing and, and getting this going. It's going to be at his gym. Um, it's, uh, it's just a... a Benefit kind of to uh, for for relief for the people of Haiti that you know suffered through the disaster. I mean, it's just a it's a great thing. We're getting a bunch of uh, MMA guys together and Jiu Jitsu uh, guys. We're just getting a big group of guys, and uh, you know everybody's going to be offering up their uh, you know everybody's time. It's divided up differently, but everyone's going to kind of show technique, and then you know people are going to be able to come out and take the seminars, and um, you know all the money's going to be donated directly to uh, to the relief fund and everything so uh, i just when rick told me about it i was like wow you know that's really noble cause i mean i would love to be involved with something like that and just try and give back a little bit so um that's kind of how it all came about was just contacted by rick and then i just thought it sounded like a great idea and i was on board so that's how it all came together we're over here in uh virginia right now at the mixed martial arts institute we've all been invited here by rick mccoy to go ahead and be part of a uh to be part of a, a charity that is supposed to raise funds to go ahead and help the people in Haiti. You know, it's a great effort that is being put together by many mixed martial artists that are coming together. There's me, there's Tom Lawler, there's, uh, there's George, the Cubano Masvidal, Braulio uh, Estima. Uh, there's a bunch of different people over there, and I think that, um, you know, with the uh, coming together of these people to go ahead and help the Show that you know mixed martial artists are more than just uh, you know a bunch of you know self-serving uh, yeah, yeah. you know self-indulged people yeah, that yeah. we're actually concerned with the community and the needs of other people. To such an extent that we're able to go ahead and take our efforts and put them together in a pool to help in some way, shape, or form.